welcome to learning simulation engineering in this video we are going to discuss about uh, control wall actuators basically what is actuators what are different types of actuators and what are the purpose of the actuators is being discussed in this video so in this youtube channel we will be learning more on the fundamentals and concepts of instrumentation and control systems uh, latest updates and upgrades in technology which is happening globally in around uh, instrumentation field and if you're a budding engineer or even expertise in the field of instrumentation engineering do subscribe to our channel to gain more value addition so let's get into this video so first and foremost what is basically actuator so this is basically a control wall actuator and this is a diaphragm type actuator you could see over here the air enters into the tubing and it gets into the actuator and pushes the uh, opposing spring tension and that in turn uh, pushes down the stem and this is how it operates the control wall and this is how it throttles the control wall during the operations either by this way we can either give a tight shut off or full open or even we can throttle and this is how a control wall actuator basically works so what is basically an actuator Actuator is an arrangement or component to open or close and throttle a control wall or we can also use for an on-off wall purpose and basically this pneumatic operator control wall actuators are most popular though we have pneumatically operated control wall actuators we are also using electric actuators hydraulic actuators manual actuator also okay First and foremost, what is basically a diaphragm actuator? So diaphragm actuators are basically being pneumatically operated using air from controller, positioner and other sources. And this diaphragm actuators are classified into two types that is direct acting actuator and reverse acting actuator. In direct acting actuator, the increasing air pressure it pushes down the diaphragm and extends the actuator stem towards downwards the reverse acting actuator here the increasing air pressure pushes up the diaphragm you could see the air uh, or the load is being separated from the bottom of the diaphragm actuator so it can uh, pushes up the diaphragm and thereby it retracts the actuator stem so this is basically the or uh, diaphragm actuators and next we can see the piston type actuators so why do we have to go for a piston type actuators so basically uh, the piston type actuators are pneumatically operated but they use high pressure instrument or plant here so sometimes they even use more than 8 bore or even uh, up to 150 psi g so this is the basic purpose of piston actuators and the piston actuators gives maximum thrust output and the unique factor here is it has a fast stroking speed so we can use a piston type actuator where it needs immediate action and finally the piston actuators um, are double acting so that it gives maximum forces in both directions it can be used for both direct acting and reverse acting as well and this is what the piston actuators and next we can see the electro hydraulic actuators so the electro hydraulic actuators require only electrical power to the motor and we never use any pneumatic actuation system and this just uses only electric power and the motor gives more thrust to the actuator stem and it opens or closes and we can also use for throttling services so electro idle actuators are idle for these isolated locations where pneumatic supply pressure is not available you all know that uh, there are some uh, places or zones in uh, the in, uh, plant area where we cannot afford instrument air compressor in those areas we can easily use uh, electro hydraulic actuators and the main uh, important unique factor over here is the precise control of wall plug position will be guaranteed by this electro hydraulic actuators 
and finally we come to the manual actuators so we have lot of non-critical loops where we don't want any automatic or controller or systems to be implemented so we can implement this manual actuators so we do not require any pneumatic or hydraulic or any electric power source to actuate these walls basically these types of manual actuators are being uh, used in the bypass uh, line uh, and uh, those bypass walls will be operated only during any shutdown or maintenance activities hope you got a very good understanding over control all actuators and its types and also its applications and if you really like this video just give a thumbs up to this video and share to our instrument community thank you